On the right top corner, you'll see which mic that you're listening to at the moment. I will be switching back and forth using all mics, and I'll let you guys decide the quality of the sound. A couple of misguided information about spotting a fake SM7B is that a replica will come with the wire going through the yoke, but that's just an assembly mistake and should never be a giveaway. All you have to do is remove one side and simply pull the cord out and it's back in place. Second is the capsule size. Yes, it is known that fakes will normally come with the capsule sticking out further than the real one, but this shouldn't really be an indicator because unless you're gonna open the mic up to look in the back, because one can simply push the fake capsule back until it matches the level of the authentic, which what I did as you can see here. Now with that said, some actually come with the capsule already pushed back and it's about the same size as the genuine, and those cost a little bit more money and harder to find, but they do exist. You have to understand that these mics are the cheapest quality available. It doesn't matter if you pay 200 or 100 or whatever. These mics, they go for about 50 to $70 in China. And last but not least is the quality of sound. Although the fake may not sound as good as the authentic when doing a side-by-side -side comparison. However, the mic itself can still sound decent and usable, which may lead you to thinking that it's actually a genuine mic. Now I'm recording both the fake and the genuine using the Zoom F6 without a cloud lifter, just plug directly and raise the gain all the way up. Also, one important thing when dealing with these fakes, to spot a fake of course, is that you need to know that these fakes do not work with phantom power. You're gonna hear a buzzing noise or some sort of interference that's gonna make the mic completely useless. But if you plug in the mic directly to the Zoom F3 for example, and just raise the gain up, you're not gonna hear any noise as long as you have phantom power turned off. Sure recently updated their boxes by adding green to throw off the counterfeiters, but as you can see, they have already catching up. The color and print looks about the same, only the fakes looks to be slightly faded. I've seen different color tones of the authentic, although it's not as dramatic as the fake color, but it does vary. For example, here are two authentic boxes and you can see that it's slightly different. Both boxes are the same size and weight. The fake also has every label and barcode, just like the authentic box. Taking a look inside, and both packages have about the same accessories and manuals. The pleather mic pouch feels about the same, but the authentic is slightly better in quality. The first noticeable difference between the two is the secondary mic's noise cancellation filter, which is transparent on a genuine, and the fake seems to be painted black and has smaller holes. Plus, it's larger in size, which makes the fake to look slightly longer. But other than that, both of the mics have about the same size and weight and length. The same goes for the upper mic. The fake has a chrome finish, which is an easy tell, but the authentic color does vary. Here is another genuine SM57 for reference. And also, to be honest, the color difference is hardly noticeable unless you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison, and it has to be in bright settings. Opening both mics and they seem to look about the same apart from the color on the board connector but the thickness and color of both wires looks to be the same. You can hardly see it due to the hot glue but the transformer looks slimmer and larger on the fake opposed to being thick and short. The, the connection soldering on the fake is not good at all because the second time I opened the mic one side actually came off and I had to redo it. What's surprising is that both mics have the same weight which I didn't expect because the fakes are known for being much lighter. These replicas retail from anywhere between $9 to $17 and most come without a transformer and even if it does come with one, it will still feel much lighter in hand. With this mic, it's not the case because it feels exactly the same in hand but when weighing both, it does seem that the fake is 16 grams lighter but it's not noticeable in hand. I got this mic for $25 because the seller claimed that it has a genuine transformer. It definitely doesn't have a genuine transformer, but it does have one that has about the same weight. And I don't know, I'll leave it to you guys, maybe the same quality. And moving on to the SM7B, as you can see the box looks different because it has an old style print, but as you saw earlier, they've already started copying the new style. The fake has a larger short print on the side and the boxes have the same logos and made in Mexico print. Both boxes came sealed and the fake is written in Spanish while the real one is written in kanji.
Both boxes have the same accessories inside and the mics have the same feel and weight until you touch the pop filter. The real one feels very nice and stiff and you can tell that it's a quality filter where on the fake it feels very light and cheap. However, the secondary filter is another story. The real one is definitely good quality but the fake feels stiffer and thicker and also fits better. The fake's body is about the same size as the real one, only with the pop filter, it makes it look to be slightly longer. But without the pop filter, both mics are exactly the same size. The wire, although it's thicker on the fake, the color is not the same as the genuine, sure uses green and yellow wires, also the connectors are different in color but work the same. Which actually reminds me a couple of years back when the SM7B was going for $600 and more, People used to actually buy these fakes for $100 and then buy a genuine short capsule and with the original capsule placed into this fake it would sound exactly the same as the original SM7B. So spending $300 to $350 to get the exact same sound back then was a very popular mod. Doing that now is completely pointless because you'll be spending the same amount for a real mic. Maybe that's why Shure dropped the price from $600 to $399 and at the moment it's at $359. Hmm. On the Shure's website, they even warn you that it's hard to spot a fake mic and that the only way to be safe is to buy from an authorized dealer. Also, I forgot to mention that if you buy an SM7B or any Shure mic and you live in the United States or Canada and some European countries, you would receive a mic that states that it's made in Mexico. But if you live in Asia, the mic will have a made in China stamp. This doesn't mean that the mic is fake. Sure, is a company that's based in Illinois, but they operate and have factories all around the world like Germany, China, and Mexico. So if you happen to see a China label on your mic, that doesn't mean that it's fake because of the label. These fakes have completely destroyed the used market. If you're thinking about buying a used Shure mic, you're almost guaranteed to receive a fake mic. There are so many different fakes out there with different qualities, different levels, some are smaller, some are shorter, and some are spot on. You'll be surprised to know how many YouTubers are actually using a fake SM7B. If you don't have a genuine for comparison, one can easily think they're using a real mic. It's only when doing a side by side comparison is when you notice the actual difference between the fake and genuine. But listening to the fake by itself, it doesn't give up that bad quality sound where you will think that it's fake. Now when I listen to both of these mics going back and forth, there is a big difference. The SM7B sounds much much better, the original of course. The first noticeable difference that I got when doing a comparison, it sounds like the genuine. It does sound like the genuine, but it also sounds like the recording is transferring through a phone call, if that makes sense. It sounds like I'm talking on a phone using a SM7B. This is what the fake sounds like. With the fake SM7B, some even sell these low quality versions labeled as genuine with a massive discount, and many fall for it simply thinking they're getting a good deal. Some fakes even allow you to register the mic on the Shure's website and Shure even accepts the registration so that itself ensures the customer that they may have a real one. The quality of sound is noticeably different when doing a comparison but if you hear the fake just by itself you wouldn't think that it's a fake from the sound quality alone. And before we sum up this video, if you're looking for the best quality and the cheapest and you don't care about showing off your mic. I would highly recommend you to get this short SM57 with a pop filter and this mic is going to do you magic. 